Welcome to Bass Sculptor, an all-in-one plug-in effect to get your bass in shape. Let's see what it can do for this live drum track where the kick sounds a bit weak. We'll beef it up using the subharmonic generator first. This actually synthesizes new subs based on content below the cutoff. The cutoff knob can yield some pretty wild results, but for this, a nice mid-range value works well. Attack, Decay, and Release control the sub envelope, which is triggered by the threshold level here. We can check out what our sub generator is doing with the solo button. It's sounding a lot better with more oomph in the low end. But it needs further sculpting. The surgical EQ section is great for this. Start by adjusting the steep low cut. Then the single band EQ can be used to tone down resonance or boost thump. We'll tamp that down just a bit. Next up, the compressor, which can really smooth out the bass. First, we'll solo it to find the right frequency range to compress. This can be really subtle, or you can squash the input to level it out. Now we'll compare before and after. Moving on, let's change genres. Here's a pretty cool, complex bass with lots of stereo effects. But in mono, this is a problem. You can hear the subs have mostly disappeared. First, let's use the bass imager and get the lows in mono. This is essential for club playback. Next, we can use the EQ to gently boost the bass frequencies that were weakened by all those stereo effects. Finally, the compressor will help glue the subs from all those different bass synths to sound more consistent. We want to really slam the compressor so the lows are leveled out. The phase issues in mono are gone. Now for the drums, which sound a bit weak. We'll use the same approach as acoustic drums. Skip forward a bit. And here we go. Nice, what an improvement. We can also do some more creative sound design. Let's check out this metal track. The rhythm guitars sound great, but they are lacking in low end. Let's solo them. Okay, starting with the sub generator again. The right cutoff for tonal material like this helps us get that fundamental bass frequency just right. Of course, it's huge and we need to image it to mono. Then we can definitely carve out some of that rumbly sub range and boost the meaty area around 100 hertz. For rhythm guitar chugs, the compressor makes a big difference. We'll give it some attack time so the transients come through. Now 
that is beefed up. Just a little bit more fine tuning and we're done. Finally, I've applied the same process to the lead guitar track, so let's check that out before and after. Keep in mind, there's no bass guitar track here. And that is Bass Sculptor in a nutshell. It's available now from Impact Soundworks in VST, AU, and AAX formats. No dongle required. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. This has been Andrew Aversa, and I will see you next time.